No, you mentioned the script writers. I'll say it, TJ. Are the script writers drunk? Yeah. Are these are the script writers overserved? Um, I don't know, but crazy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Boy, I don't know, but this is uh, so we all know the playoffs are rigged. Like we all know mm-hmm. the the Adam Silver. This has been going on since the days of David Stern. Um, at least, at the very least, who the hell knows? It might go even further back than that. Uh, we know that these playoffs are rigged, but now I'm I'm left confused as to how they are rigged because I would have assumed that you would have wanted the Bucks to advance. You would have had wanted your one seed because it kind of does undermine the regular season a little bit, doesn't it? But totally. does that? But at the same time, like maybe this is this makes for a juicier storyline. We get Nick's heat in the you know in the garden. We're gonna you know we're gonna we're getting the the shots of Alonzo Mourning. We're gonna see Alonzo Mourning's face ten thousand times. Get Jeff Van Gundy on the call for these games, you know and. We just get the dose of nostalgia. Is that what the script writers are thinking? I don't know. I'm 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 left confused. I'm trying to figure out where we're going with this thing. Um, if I was thinking of like finals matchups, that you, if you could script uh, where we're at now, like the teams that are left now, and you could script where we're going, I think it's still Lakers Celtics, right? Like it's yeah. always, as long as the Lakers and Celtics are around, it's always Lakers Celtics. Especially um, with the way the Lakers and Celtics are this year, like obviously the Celtics have been so good, but and then getting LeBron in the finals is always going to be good for ratings, even right. as, uh, even more so because he's in LA. But yeah, because yeah. it's 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 not only Lakers Celtics, it would be LeBron versus the Celtics, which also plays. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's also Bill Russell died, so the Celtics are playing for that, and we know the Lakers won a title in the bubble when Kobe died, and uh, Jason Tatum loves Kobe. Yeah, imagine imagine the text that Jason Tatum is going to be sending Kobe, <laughs> Kobe's non-existent phone um, throughout that series. Jason Tatum just shows up to every game in the finals wearing a Kobe jersey, and a Kobe every Celtics, Celtics fan jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kobe. <laughs> no, he just he just wears like Lakers shit, and yeah. every Celtics fan pretends like they're not bothered by it because that's our guy. But really, deep down, they're like, "Why is he doing this? What the hell is going on?" I think. Uh, let me think this through. So Lakers Celtics would be my number one pick. Let me pull up a bracket here. Let me NBA playoff bracket. If if I could script where we're going from here, um, I think I I think Denver Philly. I still think there's like unfinished business with the with the Embiid Jokic storyline, and I think like the fact that they haven't announced the MVP, but we all know it's Embiid. Right. I think, and they're gonna wait till after the season. I think if I think if the Sixers and the Nuggets play in the finals and you get Embiid Jokic and Jokic outplays him or wins or something and then Embiid gets announced as the MVP right after that that's hilarious. Yeah. That's that's objectively fine. But even if that doesn't happen just to see Embiid versus Jokic I think would be um I think that would be pretty awesome. I would say give me Oh, here's a storyline for you. What about the uh, what about like the Kings versus Knicks? Although the Kings, I don't really know how much I'm. You know, I don't think the Kings can, are going to beat the Warriors twice in a row. And even if they do, I don't know. But uh, I Kings versus Knicks. So you could you could sell the the dream to all the incompetent franchises out there that you can turn it around. If you have a Kings Knicks finals, you're like these are these are two franchises that held even like two years ago. We were saying get these guys out of our fit. Like, how are they still in the, if we had relegation, they would be in the G league at this point. They're so poorly run. So I would put them in the finals. Maybe remember when the Kings were dumb for not taking Luka Doncic and they, they were, but also at the same time, <laughs> seems like, yeah, they figured it out. That cracks me up. Um, they're, they're definitely dumb, but also at the same time, like, yeah, they, they, the, the Mavs are not in the playoffs and the Mavs are a disaster. And, uh, the Kings are, are a fun young team. And the Suns also passed on Luka, and they suck, don't they? Or no, 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 that's no, that's not right. They're actually favored to win the West. Huh. Interesting. Um What about Lakers Heat, two play in play in tournament teams. Two play in. Validate that, the play in. Correct. Yeah, that supremely validates the NBA wanting to do a play in, even though the stats don't count and the games pretty much. The don't games matter. never happen. Right. The games yeah. But but if also, a team wins the championship out of it, then it definitely matters. Um, give me. Uh, I don't think I want Lakers Knicks. 
by the way does does because i i think what happens when when you have these discussions is that um I think there's a belief that New York versus LA is what all of America wants to see, but I'm here to tell you as a guy from middle America, truly nobody gives a shit about New York and LA. Yeah. And they're little like the 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 idea of a Yankees Dodgers World Series, we don't care. I'm here to tell you we don't care. Yeah. We simply do what we care about is go, uh, Yankees Dodgers actually we might care because it's like if they're good teams. We care about the good fran- the good franchises playing each other, which is why Lakers Celtics plays. You know, right. like that, that, that is two great franchises, two great teams, whatever. Uh, for most people, the Knicks are just incompetently run. And, and until Dolan sells the team, like they're just gonna, there's a dumpster fire. And that's why you have a situation where the Knicks win a uh, first round playoff series and the fans are riding in the streets because the, this, this never happens. Um, so the idea of just the Knicks versus the Lakers as an LA versus New York storyline, I don't think that plays for me. I don't think that works. Yeah, the only people that actually care about LA, New York, are like the major media people in each of those cities. Yeah, right. Like right. The I, Today Show in New York, like the newscasters, where it's like, oh, you know. Yeah, exactly. We're exactly. in the finals it's now. A, it's a, the the it's fan, like New York <laughs> fans don't care about an LA rivalry. Yeah, and that we the, it's the, they they do like a yeah NBC News is like yeah. their their LA bureau they're cutting in and they're yeah. talking trash to the New York bureau and all of Middle America is like yeah. we what the hell is this KTLA think, and yeah WPIX <laughs> in New York or yes. something or like let's do a newscaster bet winner has yeah. to loser has right. to wear flip flops <laughs> for the newscast yeah. next week that's that, uh, that co- get that coastal elite bullshit out of my face. Um, <laughs> I, I don't I it, it, I get that it's the media's wet dream, but I I don't think L.A. versus New York on its own doesn't doesn't work for me. If the Knicks were better, and the Knicks said you know this if this was like year five of the Knicks having made the playoffs with this core and they were just looking to get over the hump, now I'm back in. You know now I'm into the idea of the Knicks Lakers, but right now that doesn't do it for me. Um, I don't think I want Warriors Celtics either. I don't want a rematch unless the rematch is setting up for like a dynasty type, like a Cavs Warriors type deal, or like a Lakers Celtics in the '80s type deal. Um, unless we're going to see these two teams play each other over and over for the next four or five years, I don't think I care about a rematch with the Warriors Celtics. Um, the Warriors Knicks would be awesome. Yeah, Warrior, Warriors Knicks would be like that. Would be like the. Uh, um, the the Eagles Patriots Super Bowl a few years ago where if the Knicks beat the I would say Warriors Knicks but only if the Knicks beat the Warriors if the Warriors beat the Knicks then it's all wasted but if the Knicks can beat the Warriors that would feel like the Eagles beating Tom Brady and you're kind of like reestablishing this franchise that was once proud and now we're throwing them back into the mix as like a viable title contender year yeah. after year um I don't Plus know the, what else. The party in the streets after would be awesome. The party in the streets, just like in. What do you What do you think about that? As a, uh, um, I see people crapping on Knicks fans for, like, you know, the, the quote unquote act like you've yeah. been here before mentality. But but the thing what, is what, that most Knicks fans haven't been here before. Mm-hmm. It's been ten years since they won a playoff series, so you, Knicks fans take the little victories as big victories. Yeah. But this is just going to keep ramping up now that they have home court in the second round. Like if they win game one, it's going to be a whole leveled up party from the game one, you know, victory <laughs> cele- round one victory celebrations. If they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, they're going to start like building floats or something. <laughs> if they make it to a championship, it's like they might have to shut the city down. Like our the Barcelona office is very close to Madison Square Garden. It would we probably <laughs> if we're doing streams for those games. I don't expect to get home any time. Cl- yeah, like close that's going to gonna be games. that's going to be absolute chaos. That's but uh, to have to have Philly, Boston, and New York all in the East East uh, semis would be something, man. I mean, Philly and New York are obviously already there. Boston is surely going to make it. I mean, nothing can go wrong at this point, I would say. <laughs> now that you know, the Hawks already the Hawks already threw their best punch, I would say. There's nothing that can go wrong for the Celtics at this point. They're definitely going to win one of these next two. Um, Trey Young can't do this over and over again. They can't. No, he can't. There's no way. There's no way. And and it just can't, it can't happen. Um 
No, but that's the. I mean, you're talking about like three fan bases that are just scumbags, frankly, TJ. Like, just, and proudly proud of it, you know. It's what three, Barstool's three, built on those three three, three scumbag <laughs> yeah, fan bases. Much. So watch your mouth. Three, three <laughs> East Coast. I mean, I'm saying, like, what? Can I not call a, a, a yeah. spade a spade yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's it's uh, they're they're proud to be scumbags. That's what Absolutely. like every single one of you know, like every single. If I said that, like, if I came out and said that the the Knicks fans are bigger scumbags than the Philly fans, like, I just offended both fan bases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Knicks fans would be like, you know, "What do you mean?" And the Philly fans would be like, like "No, how are we bigger. not number yeah, one? Yeah. We're number one." <laughs> yeah, from a content so, perspective, that is the best grouping to have because you know, if the Sixers get the Celtics, the streams are going to be great for all of those games. And then if yeah. somehow the winner of that gets New York, all of the New Yorkers in the office will suddenly become diehard Knicks Knicks fans. Yeah, and it'll be war in the Eastern Conference Finals. I think I think Knicks the Knicks have set themselves up as the uh, bandwagon because there, there there are as you said like a lot of New Yorkers. Obviously, it's the most populous, it's the biggest city we have in this country. But um, I imagine there are a lot of New Yorkers that just like at this point in their lives don't give a shit about basketball, don't care about the NBA, um, and now are seeing videos of people being insane in the streets and they're like what's going on and they're like yeah the yeah. knicks are kind of good now and in fact they're probably favored to make it to the eastern to, to the final four you know the eastern finals and then you'll get a lot of new yorkers they're like oh i didn't know that well yeah go next then yeah. um and that will that'll be something yeah that'll be something i i dude this is i'm just i'm still trying to figure out the bucks dude because i i I, I, I can't believe it. I, I honestly can't believe it. Now now I'm like left trying to figure out how far the heat can go because, I mean, the, the Bucks are better than the Knicks. Um, this is going to be disgusting basketball that's played between the Knicks and the Heat. I mean, it's going to be just absolute slugfest. And when that's the case, like, I don't know how – I mean, the Knicks are, are going to be favored, I'm sure, but – if they're all, if you're playing like ugly basketball games, and Jimmy Butler is going to be the best player in the series, I don't know. Maybe the Heat can can win. Maybe or the, I don't. I don't think the Heat can win the title. I think at some point, it's got to like water's got to find its level, and th- their offense when you know it, it, it looks awful at times, and and they just turn to Jimmy and say, "Please save us." At some point, like that's not going to be enough for them to win four straight playoff series. Yeah. But as you look at it in a vacuum, you're like, yeah, I mean, I, of course the Heat can beat the Knicks. And now we're going to get an eight seed in the, the East Finals. Like, and then who the hell knows? I don't, dude, this is, this is like the first playoffs I, I, I remember in a very long time that feels truly, truly wide open. Um, the Knicks are a five point favorite on Saturday in game one. In game one. But that's at home. Um, yeah, I mean, the Knicks are going to be favoring the series because they have home court advantage, but. Like I said, like the 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 Heat, the 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 Bucks are better than the Knicks are, and the Heat just made the the the. the I'm stuttering like crazy, dude. I'm stunned. I'm I'm actually stunned. I was like, great, great, stunned. great call on your part to wait to record after this I just game. couldn't. I just couldn't. I can't. Could, could you imagine if this podcast was like? Man, I wonder if Jimmy can get it done tonight. Probably I'm sure, not, yeah, though. Probably not. Um, I'm sure the Bucks took care of business tonight. And I'm sure, if nothing else, I'm sure that if their season was on the line, the ball didn't end up in Grayson Allen's hands and, and he just dribbled around and wasn't really sure. Like, even – why why did Grayson not shoot the ball? Just He was wide open. Yeah. Shoot the ball. He ran the, call, he ran the season wanted. out and then just chucked an air ball. <laughs> the master class. Oh my god, dude! Um, the the playoffs are wide open. It's wide open. There's no other way to put it. I mean, you you have a two seed in Memphis that is is their backs against the wall. Um, the the Bucks are now out. The Nuggets. I'm biased. Uh, I have uh, uh, my my girlfriend's a uh, huge Nuggets fan. She's from Colorado, so she makes me watch every second of Nuggets basketball that that we can watch, and I've fallen in love with Jokic. So. Um, I'm I'm obviously a little biased here, but I, I think the Nuggets are are very 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 good, and I like them a lot because I, I think this is the best Nuggets. This is definitely the best chance the Nuggets have had at winning a title um, since uh, since Jokic has gotten there, and and you know they they've kind of had this run with Jokic, uh, but also at the same time, I mean like the Nuggets have have like the story of what the Denver Nuggets have been is is they come up short in the playoffs, yeah. and they're the one seed in the West now. So you're looking at a situation where like 
the Suns are favored against the Nuggets, I think, right? The Suns are the favorites to come out of the West. Um, we're going to have no one seeds in the in the conference finals. Uh, if the Warriors beat the Kings like they might, you're going to have – in the if the Warriors and Lakers both win, you're going to have six versus seven. Again, I, I, I understand the seeding is kind of wonky because, you know, the regular season, who knows how much people care about it, but – Exactly what I thought would happen coming into the playoffs is happening, which is that the 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 regular season not mattering to people and and kind of being a joke has created a situation where it's so unpredictable what's going to happen in the playoffs because none of these seeds matter and none of what we saw in the regular season is indicative of what you're going to see in the playoffs. It's all chaos, TJ. It's all chaos. And what's what sucks about it, as a guy sitting in my chair, is that the NBA is supposed to be the league that makes sense. Like when you think of the basketball. College is supposed to be the chaos. You're supposed to get out of March Madness, take a deep breath, and then look up and say, all right, so it's going to be the Celtics probably. It's going to be maybe the Warriors will be in the mix, and then is LeBron's team good? Then let's throw him in the mix, and it's maybe going to be one of those. And now I'm left just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here.